Hello everybody, lesson three of uh, the ambassador training for the Japan English Exchange. I'm Nathan Raymond, the founder of the Japan English Exchange, and I developed this so that we could get the skills we need in a training system of which other people could be doing the same thing so that we grow a community that is self-sufficient. Our next topic of conversation we're talking about is nonprofits. Current nonprofits run from a model that requires that they get sponsors and donations or serve a specific purpose. Our first purpose is to create a source of advocacy and attraction for the purpose the NPO was created for. Our priority is that they welcome us and want us to visit them and say yes to us visiting so we can then do that and make a video. Then we want to get permission to visit. Uh, we are there to reflect their passions and either get a tour or observe current activities or get introduced to the people that were attracted to the NPO, but then got introduced to us to get more specialized care beyond the care of the NPO. So we're taking the next steps with people. We are ambassadors and we're recognizing others feel uncomfortable by being on camera and we volunteer to bear most of that brunt. This is our personal brand development as much as it is us promoting the mentors we are apprentices for. Our apprenticeship revolves around how we can make a video based on what we can do and what they can allow us to do and teach us. And that is also regarding communication with others and based on the specific NPO's focus, do we get to learn the specific language that focuses on that subject? So we are always looking to visit and make videos with a wide range of businesses and services so we have something for everyone. We can use the available business that exists in our community to focus on what exists. But business that does not yet exist, we are sure to reach out to and convey our desires to be an apprentice and make a marketing video of their business is because it better aligns with our passion and we are looking for people at the business to communicate with so that we can find out the ones that are passionate too and we're reflecting our passions to each other in our conversation. Why did you start this NPO, right? What attracted you here? What kinds of people have been here and connected with you? How can volunteers benefit you? How could we allow for people to develop self-sufficiency? When we approach a business, a business is looking for, uh, well, they're looking for more business, advertising, right? But nonprofits are the kinds of businesses that were created where profit is not the motive. And people that are working with that nonprofit, they could have worked everywhere, but they choose to work there because they want to affect something. And if we uh, do a video going to there, finding out what they're doing, presenting them in a positive light, then not only are they welcoming us to come and do that for them, but then we're also, when we go an apprentice, we're essentially being the first one to do such a thing. But after we do it, it turns into a situation that's a research and development for an internship. And after we do that, and of course we're doing it volunteering and taking video, it just makes our next steps that much better. And those are the com communication that, so, you know, we want NPOs so that they can get more members and they can offer better services for lower prices. And when we go and volunteer there, we're also showing how easy it can be for them to receive people who actually are going to make video and it's going to be a mutual benefit. So then NPO doesn't have to work as hard. They could go farther with less money. Uh, we're doing this volunteering because it's also training and education and serves a social. So it's a social value and there's mutual benefit for that. And uh, this is another way you could reach out to people. And we'll talk about that soon. So 
next is our next video and I'll see you there.